Ladies and gentlemen, before I lose your attention, I need all wood boiler owners to send me a couple photos. I want to see a photo of your pump setup, the name of your uh, wood boiler. I don't care what brand it is. It doesn't matter to me. Send me a picture of the pump setup and then send me a picture of where it comes in the house. In the next video or two, we're gonna do how a wood boiler works and operates. So I wanted to do a collage. I've gotten many questions. How do you plumb this? How do you plumb these? How do you plumb these? What's the best way, X, Y, Z? So I figured I would share a collage with that. So send me an email, homesteadj35 at gmail.com. Um, and yes, send me, like I said, a picture of the pump setup on your boiler and then send me uh, a picture of your plumbing system inside, you know, where heat exchanger, plenum, that general area. You don't have to get too specific. I will uh, elaborate. So yes, let's get into today's video. We're gonna talk about basically how these machines work. If you're not familiar with an outdoor wood boiler, basically it is a big machine that holds, I'll put a cutaway right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip to a cutaway right now. Basically, as you can see here, you have a water jacket on top and then you have a fire down below now obviously it is sealed the water and the fire are completely separate naturally makes sense but i figured i'd explain it anyways and what happens is, is that water constantly circulates into your home now we'll get into the home part of it in a second um, but let's pretty much wrap up out here so basically you have a damper door on the front that opens and shuts when this water gets down to 175 degrees, that front damper door opens, and maybe I'll attach a clip, I, I think I have a clip. That damper door opens, gets lets air in, stokes the fire up, heats that water up to 185, and then that damper door shuts. Meanwhile, that water is continuously being circulated via the pumps on the side, which I will show you in a second. So let me show you the pumps on the side here. And yeah, it's pretty, it's actually very primitive. This is a non-gasification, this is a Central Boiler CL6048 Classic. And yeah, let's show you the pumps. So basically here's your machine here. The machine is dormant right now. It is not calling for heat, meaning that damper door is shut. And as you can see, we just have a dribble, if you will, on the outside of the chimney. The, the water is at 184 degrees, so it's not calling for heat anytime soon. And as you can see in here, remember this, this is your feed and your return. So this pump here on the left supplies, circulates 400 gallons of water through this underground PEX, which runs under the frost line into the house, and we'll get to in a second, and then it loops back. So it's literally just constantly making a loop. Now, if you look at this panel here, hopefully, I don't know how well you can see, maybe you can pause it, but it just shows you basically how uh, some of them work. Some of them run through uh, a plenum, like a forced hot air system. You have your hot water from the boiler running through your plenum. You have existing boilers like I have here. That's my setup there, which you'll see in a second. And then wraparound pumps. There's all types of fun stuff. So that's what prompts me to do the uh, next video. But this is basically it. You have a damper door that controls the fire. Fire turns on, as weird as it sounds, via wood. Fire turns on, heats up the water to 185. Damper shuts, circulates that water. You can hear the pump running right now. So, and just... To give you an idea this machine's not running but i just want to show you the firebox anyways normally i don't open this without it running because it's very smoky but anyways give the smoke a second to clear and you see here we have wood inside plenty of videos showing good fires i don't open the door when it's not running for that reason because it's very very smoky so anyways let's go show you the inside all right folks so i got a question here on how an outdoor wood boiler works uh how it's plumbed in so this, that's what we're going to go over today so real quick they were spinning right off of our last video i figured while i was set up here uh on the boiler here and i'll attach a clip here you have your two um you have your supply and your return these machines just loop water so this is where they come in this is the basement cellar so they come in through the wall through this pex here up over the top and as you can see here they come in over there and down through what's called a heat exchanger. So basically what happens is, is your hot water from your wood boiler circulates on this half of the heat exchanger. The outdoor wood boiler water never physically mixes with the domestic house water in most cases, in most insulation. They either run through a plate style heat exchanger, which is what this is, or they run through what's called a plenum and a forced hot air system. So basically how it works is the hot water comes in from the boiler, runs through the heat exchanger, and then you have your domestic hot water loop here. So what we have is technically call it cold water coming in through the pump we just replaced, running through the heat exchanger and coming out and then this water comes out and then if there's a heat demand all of our zones heating zones are over there so if there's a heat demand it'll trigger this pump 
send the hot water up. Right now there's a zone on, so it's hot. Hot water goes up through the pipes, down, and through the appropriate zone, whatever bedroom, floor, kitchen, whatever it may be. And that's pretty much how it works. Also too, our hot water heater is there, so the outdoor wood boiler heats up all the domestic hot water here, which circulates and runs through the, wood, uh, through the oil furnace, uh, through all your appropriate piping and in through and it loops through your hot water tank So you pretty much have unlimited hot water. So I just kind of wanted to go over that also what's interesting too This little box here this sensor here is set for 130 degrees if this water in the outdoor wood boiler gets cold Let's say you had a catastrophic failure your fire went out you were gone or whatever this system will basically reverse polarity meaning this will uh, flip-flop so instead of going from outdoor wood boiler to domestic, it's going to go, the oil's going to start, it's going to heat up water and back feed, pretty much reverse the system where you're running hot water heated via oil through the heat exchanger and that's just keeping that water, preventing it from freezing. So that's pretty much how that works. It's more or less a fail safe. If you run out of wood and that machine cools down out there, this is just going to work and work and work because you got 400 gallons constantly looping through that. So the oil is pretty much a backup um, to the wood furnace. The wood furnace is the primary heat source here. If your wood burns out or if you run out of wood, that's kind of a tough sell uh, because your oil will struggle just to keep that from freezing. You have 400 gallons, you're trying to back feed or back heat. So I just kind of want to make this video while we still had our light set up here. This is basically how it's plumbed. Like I showed you before, we have just zones here. Doesn't matter if you have two, three, seven, 14, doesn't make a difference. But this is just basically the meat and potatoes here. This is where all your cost is gonna be. This is um, the meat and potatoes of the outdoor wood boiler is how you are getting that heat from the hot water into your house. This is how our setup is. Plate style heat exchanger. This is, what do you think, Dad? This is probably like inch and, uh, inch and a half height, two inch maybe. Two inch pipe running through pretty much the whole system as you can see it's big big piping here so we're moving a lot of water same thing pressure tank expansion tank you have an air bleed off here if you ever get air in the domestic system but like i said the water in the boiler does not mix with the water in the house anywhere at all that water is completely separate completely isolated you are merely just robbing the heat off that via heat exchanger or if you had forced hot air it would be what's called a plenum like a radiator if you will and then you had a fan blowing that's a whole different story but this is basically the setup here so i just want to show you guys so almost and the key word is almost all heating systems have one thing in common they generally speaking this and i use the term uh most generally i'm not there are some systems that don't but most systems run on some type of water heating up water whether you're heating up water with oil, heating up water with propane, and then circulating that hot water through either baseboard or plenum. Basically, an outdoor wood boiler does the same thing, but via wood. Alrighty, folks, I think that's a wrap. If you have any questions on how these machines work, uh, feel free to let me know. Is it the best uh, way to heat your home? Well, we can cover that in another video, but uh, this was here on the homestead installed in 2008. We moved in in 2015, and we have been running it ever since, and that, needless to say, I absolutely love it. So uh, if you have any questions, put them down below in the comments. Pretty, pretty primitive concept. You're, you're literally using firewood to heat up water, and that water is pumped through the home that's it <laughs> there's no there's no witchcraft there's no uh crazy science behind it it's pretty primitive so thanks for watching guys let me know what you think hopefully i explained everything uh, but if you have any more questions i'll go through i can add it in another video and again like i said in the beginning and i've said multiple times send me an email homesteadj35 at gmail.com i want to see a picture of your pump setup on your outdoor wood boiler and then i want to see inside however the pipes connect i don't care if it's your garage your house your barn i just want to see the plumbing aspect so i can go through that in another video so thank you guys for putting the effort in again homesteadj35 at gmail.com and i'll overlay a little uh email snippet right now and yeah needless to say folks thanks for watching let me know what you think god bless and like i always say we will see you guys out in the woods